In this video, we are going to talk about similar triangles. Um, so it, the idea of a similar triangle is that the triangles have the exact same shape, but they're different sizes, which means they're proportional to each other. So if, um, if that side is twice the size of, so S is twice the size of V, then all the sides would be exactly twice the size of their corresponding pieces. Okay, and that's the idea of proportional. So there's like a, a scale factor essentially associated with this. Uh, the symbol that we use to represent similar looks like that, all right? So if you see this triangle is similar to this triangle, you know that the angles, corresponding angles would match, but the sides would all be proportional to each other. All right, so, um, so we're gonna solve a couple triangles using that information. So let's say we're given that this triangle, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So they look exactly the same, just one is smaller than the other, and it's proportionally smaller than the other. So um, there's a couple different ways to do it, but let me just kind of show you the, um, the proportional way to do this. That if we have something like this, what we want to figure out is kind of a scale factor. We won't find the scale factor, but we can set it up like it. Is if I go from, I want to compare small to big, I might take a value like um, eight compared to 10. Right, and I'm going to set up a proportion on it. So the side eight compared to the side 10 should be equivalent to side B compared to side five. All right, and from there, as soon as you have a proportion, you can cross multiply and figure out exactly what B should be. That is not the only way to do this. Some people will kind of figure out a multiplier between the two, um, which is totally fine, and then kind of use it to find the missing piece. Totally fine. But to cross, to solve this, we're going to cross multiply. So we're going to take 10 times B, which is 10 B, equals this cross product of eight times five, which is 40. So the cross product should equal each other. And then I can divide by 10 to figure out what B is. And B should be 40, four. This is 40 divided by 10. All right, so that's the idea behind um, similar triangles. So if we have a problem, like we are trying to figure out the height of a tree, um, says an arborist must know the height of a tree to determine which way um, to fell it. So we're, we're chopping it down and we want it to fall. So how far is it actually going to fall? So we kind of keep that space to make it safe. Um, so it does not endanger your lives, traffic, or property. So we have a six foot pole. So here's how we're going to figure this out. We have a six foot pole that casts a four foot shadow, right? And then when the tree casts a 20 foot shadow, what is the height of the tree? So what makes this a similar triangle is the angle of the sun. And so the angle of the sun is gonna be the same casting the exact same proportionally big shadow depending upon the height. So with that, we have similar triangles. Um, and so then we're gonna compare one side from another and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did on the last one. So a four foot creates a 20 foot. So for every four feet in one, we create a 20 in another, which means for every six feet in the, the same smaller triangle, we should create an X for a height. All right, so then we cross multiply, we'll have four X is gonna equal six times 20, 20, so that's gonna get you 120, divide by four, X equals 30. So the height of that tree is gonna be 30 feet. All right. And then last one <coughs> says building lies between two points A and B. Um, so the distance between these points cannot be measured directly by a surveyor. So a surveyor is setting up the little tripod thing and we're trying to measure that distance over to here, um, but object in the way. So to fix that, it says find the distance using a similar triangle shown. So the surveyor bumps up the distance to here and measures across to this distance, which is gonna be in a straight line with B. So what we know is we have this small triangle. And so I can't pull information when triangles overlap each other very well. So we have a 442 for this distance, which is gonna be proportional to the AB, right? And then you have 16 for this one. So those are our two measurements. And then we have the bigger triangle, that's proportional to the smaller triangle, that this distance is a combination of the two. So that distance is 24 
and then we don't know what this one is. All right, so we created a proportional, we created um, similar triangles, which means the sides are proportional. So if we take the small to big, we'd have a 16 related to 24 would equal 42 compared to X. And then we cross multiply. So 16 times X would be 16 X. And if we multiply 42 times 24, that would get us 1,008. And we divide by 16. X is going to equal 63. So that distance should be 63 meters. OK, and that was um, solving some similar triangles using proportions.